5.45 in the morning. Ugh! Got some work I gotta do. I got 10 whole forking hours of this because it's overtime. And uh, after that, we're gonna hit us a little squat day. I'm gonna try to get up to about a 510 and um, hopefully that goes good. Okay, so I just got done with work. We got us a, a 10 piece under our belt and uh, all these CrossFitters back there doing their thing. I'm waiting up on a bar, about to warm up. Then we're gonna get to business. Suitcase and everything, it's time. Okay, so I'm no sponsored athlete by anybody right now. But if I had to name off the best knee sleeves in the game, the best you could play basketball, you could power lift, you could throw some frisbee with, SPD. So we just absolutely crushed 510. That's 315 obviously, but I just had it on there. It was awesome. That's my first single of this month. It gets up to 540. We got some big old plans to put up a really good total this month. Um, my phone is what I'm recording on and this puppy's out of battery. So I'm about to have to just call the, the video until I get a charger. So I'll see you at the house and we're gonna talk about the Nova effect. Uh, so we're back at the La Cacienda, AKA the house in Spanglish or whatever language you speak. I'm about to give you the universal language. And by universal, I mean American. The American language, English. So um, today we're gonna to be talking about the Nova effect. And uh, I actually got the website up here. It's called medium.com. You just look up the Nova effect on Google and it'll show you. But um, it's pretty much in life whenever you think the most disastrous accidents happen, but they turn out to later on be a blessing. So in the Nova Effect on this website, there's also a video by um, The Mind of Wonder, some YouTube. I'm going to put a correct uh, picture right here. And um, what it is pretty much is Nova is this dude's dog. And Nova runs away and um, he gets off of the owner's leash and the owner's like bro where nova where are you like why why'd you leave me blah 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 and uh, nova runs and gets away from him and this dude is broken he's super sad like you know he's like i just lost my favorite dog this dude was single alone and um he went to i think the pound or a shelter and he winds up finding his dog and he finds a woman that he's been like dreaming of. This woman is amazing. So in that instance, when he lost his dog, he was like, man, you know, Nova's gone. My, my favorite dog, my companion, my best friend, my pedal, my dog. And um, he left. And then later on, he finds the girl of his dreams. So something that turned out to be extremely bad for a minute turned out to be such a good and, um, 
great accident, if you will. So he wound up meeting the love of his life. So later the story goes into, he is, uh, he loves this woman, he's taking her on dates, and uh, he plans on marrying her. He buys a ring for her. And he's driving on his way to marry her, and he's very close to her house, and he gets T-boned by a car. And this car put him in the hospital, and he was, in his head, he was like, of course, why did this happen to me, man? Like, this sucks, my car's total, and I was just about to marry this woman. Uh, I don't have, I mean, he's got the ring, obviously. He was just like, you know, how unfortunate it is, because, you know, get your car T-boned, it ain't that fun. I would, you know, I haven't got it happen to me, haven't had it happen to me, but I'm guessing it sucks pretty bad. And, um, uh, so he goes to this doctor and they're x-raying him because of all the injuries he had. And uh, they're like, yeah, everything came up good. Like, you look great, but there also is bad news. And um, he was like, well, what's the bad news? And they said, after further scans, we found that you have a brain tumor, you know, just chilling and uh, it needs to be removed. And, uh, you know, he had to get the surgery and got it removed, but the doctor said, if it wouldn't have been checked or if it would have went unnoticed, he would have probably died. This car accident, you know, something that turns out to be, you know, it was a big accident. It turned out to be a huge blessing because without this, he would not have known that he had this tumor in his head and he wouldn't have got it removed and he probably would have died. So I love the Nova effect. I, um, these are two little stories about it. They're accidents that turn into, they wind up having a great effect on the rest of your life. They just seem bad in the moment. So any situation, in my opinion, can be kind of like Nova. You could have, you know, a time in your life that an accident comes up, or at least this is how I take it, something that seems so bad but it winds up leading you to being a better you in the future and that's the type of accident that sucks at first but you wind up learning from it and you realize that it sucked for just a little minute but it wound up being an eye opener that you needed for so long that's the beauty of life because you're going to have a lot of accidents that you know seem like they're just the end of the world but what happens is they turn into your biggest blessings. It just depends on the perspective that you give the situation. You gotta make sure that every situation you look at in a state of almost like heads and tails, there's two sides to it. There's either you take it the, the wrong way and you victimize yourself or it winds up being one of the bigger blessings because it winds up opening the doors for other things because you saw it was the breakthrough that you needed, AKA the brain surgery on your tumor, AKA your dog being found and you meet the girl slash guy of your dreams, etc. So the Nova effect can happen in all of us and that's pretty much my big explanation on it. So before I get any further, let me take it over to my sponsors real quick. I know them personally. And trust me, they are the best of the best. So here, watch this. Are you tired of restless nights, feeling unfulfilled and tiny? I can't sleep. I'm so small and weak and pathetic. Are you tired of no one respecting the crappy, planless workouts that you drew up last minute before leaving to the gym? Yes. Get the jackpot. Let's go. Hey dude, check this one out. You'll finally respect me and said. Oh, heck yeah. Let's see what they said. Well, look no farther. I'm here to help you. Ha! Working harder, hardly working, as I always say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. My name is Zach. I am Farm Wars owner, and I am the professional program writer. Here at Farmore, we offer fully customized programming for the looks of a Greek god or the strength of a thousand forklifts. That's pretty much it. All at a very reasonable price of $25 to $75, depending on your goal. That is for five weeks of fully customized 
amazing programming. You can't get better than that. And just to show you how serious I am about this, I'm gonna call a competitive powerlifting program creating machine. And I'm gonna see how their values match up against my values. And you're gonna be here to see 100% real. Hey man, this is Zach Denson, professional program writer from Farmwork. How are you doing today? Hey, uh, I'm good other than sucking at everything. What about you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, man. Uh, I just wanted to see how you would compare the programs that you write to that of the likeness of Farmwork's Zach Denson. Oh, uh, that guy Zach Denson writes the best programs I've ever seen. The ones that I write are a bunch of bullshit. And they suck. Uh, I would say that they're also very cheap and very effective. Just saying, as a real competitor. Yeah, this Zach Denson guy sounds pretty serious. I agree with everything that you just said. If that phone call wasn't enough, you can talk to me and see it for yourself. I'll write you a program. I'll get it done for you. I'll get you built how you want and as strong as you want to get. Just contact me on any of these social medias on the screen. If you message me on any of them, I'm guaranteed to answer and I will help you. Come to me with your programming needs. And as always, stay beautiful, baby girl. Okay, so now that we're back from getting talked to by the sponsors, uh, per se, we're back to talking about the Nova Effect. Um, pretty much I'm gonna close it on just saying that in summary, what the Nova Effect is, is the perspective on how you see a negative situation. Until your life has pretty much ended, you're never gonna know if something is a positive or a negative thing, good or bad. Because, you know, you might have a negative thing that might happen to you, but later on it might have affected you for the better. And as hard as that is to grasp, which I understand a lot of things are you know, they just seem bad altogether, but who knows, they might affect you later on in life to do something extremely good. Like for instance, getting made fun of in high school for me, like being small and not as athletic as I wanted to be, I started going to the gym. And now I'm a power lifter and I really like it and I love the fitness level that I've gotten to. So there's an example of the Nova effect. It was a negative thing, but it turned into a life of just positivity pumping that iron and just being the strongest person I can be. So just think about the Nova effect and how something you might consider bad. Just try to see what could go right with what went wrong with you, if that makes sense. So that's the end of the video. I hope you liked all the editing and all the stupid stuff that I put into this video. I really enjoy y'all watching my stuff and I hope you learned something from the Nova Effect because I read on it a couple weeks ago and I also watched that video by the YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link in the description because it's a great video and they, they're a great channel. And um, hopefully this makes you think just a little bit harder about the negative that goes on and it shifts your perspective into one that's more open-minded. That way you can move forward from the negative that happens and maybe you can see it as a way that you can climb up farther than you ever could have before. So thanks for watching far more and gosh darn it girl stay beautiful. You just look amazing. I just I gotta go talk to you. God. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.